Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this series on PyTorch. I keep saying my videos are going to be short, but this one is going to be short for real. So in this one, we will try to create our custom layer. So in the previous example, or in your PyTorch coding, you would have used one of the predefined layers, like fully connected layer, convolution layer, pooling layer, and um, one of these nice layers. Although uh, torch.nn has pretty much any layer that you would want to use. So um, unless you are doing research or you're trying something very exotic, you wouldn't ever need to create a custom layer. But um, let's say, yes, you encounter a situation where you have to create a custom layer. So that's what I'll talk about. So if I look at these layers, um, uh, if I, so this is the torch.nn documentation. If I go to convolution layers, you see there are like all sorts of, you know, 1D, 2D, 3D, transpose, and all sorts of things. So um, PyTorch has done a good job, and for that matter, even TensorFlow, for capturing all the most used layers and even some exotic ones as well. So enough about this. How do I create my own layer? The short answer is, there is no special way of creating a new layer. So PyTorch doesn't have a layer class. All it has is the nn.module class from which you subclass your modules from. So the layers are also children of nn.module. So the layers are also nn.module objects. So they're not anything different. So using nn.module, you can create a module or you can create a layer. So it really doesn't matter um, what you do. So in an nn.module object, you can, you know, uh, implement your layer in a complicated fashion, or you can create an nn.module instance for just your layer and utilize that in another nn.module. So um, the way you create your layers is using nn.module. And we talked about that in the previous video. So let me open the, um, actually, you know what, um, since we've already talked about modules, I'm not going to talk about that. I will show you that the layers that are implemented in PyTorch are actually um, objects created from an n.module. So let's, um, let's look at something uh, simple, like the ReLU and those kind of layers. So when I go to, okay, so let's look at, let's say I go to ReLU. So this is the documentation of ReLU, which is which does max of 0, comma x. And now when I click on the source. So this opens the source code for this. Um, basically, uh, all the activations are stored in this file. And let me now search for ReLU. OK, great. So here is my ReLU class. And look. Its parent is again module, which is nn.module. So, um, and for nn.module, all you need is to define a constructor, the init dunder dunder init constructor, and then a forward method. So, this forward method just um, tells you that uh, basically the action, the forward method, method is just the action of my layer. And here, this layer is just applying the functional. So the f is nn.functional. So it's just applying relu as a function on the input. Uh, in place means apply this operation in place. Don't create a new uh, temporary variable. So um, so that's what that's all it is. So nn. So you create layers by subclassing from nn.module. You define the constructor and then you define the forward function. That's pretty much it. So it's pretty straightforward. And and here. You can take a look at all the other layers that are present in uh, PyTorch or other activation. So next, I'd like to demonstrate how to create a simple layer, and that's all. So let me um, now pull up VS Code. Um, great, I have it here. Let me just zoom in, zoom in a bit. Okay, great. Okay, so first things first, we begin by importing torch and um, torch, and also we import torch.nn as nn. Good, so 
once that is loaded up now let's start writing our layer so i create so again everything has to be everything is an object so i have to create classes so i create my layer which inherits from nn.module and first i define my constructor so this will let's say i want my constructor to take in um, the input size for my layer so i give it so input size and the first thing it should do basically it should um, initialize the parent constructor so that's done and now i define the size to be size n good so that now that we have taken the size into consideration now what we will do is we will create um, okay so what do i want my layer to do so in this example i will write a simple layer what it will do is let's say given um, it will basically apply dot uh, element wise multiplication so let's say I have a um, uh, vector 1 comma 2 and if I do element wise multiplication with say 2 comma 2 the answer would be uh, so you multiply the first element of each that's 2 and then you multiply the second element of each so that's 4 so I want my layer to perform element wise multiplication and so pretty straightforward now it will perform element wise multiplication with its weights so I need to define certain weights to my layer and that's what it will perform element wise multiplication to. So this will be my input. Input will be element wise multiplied with the weight and I'll get an output. So that's what um, my uh, thing is going to do. So I define the weight to be, um, let's say, so everything has to be a tensor because we're in PyTorch and then the dimensions are again, uh, the input dimensions so that's good um, all right so I have defined my weights next so if you remember from the previous video there's a distinction between a tensor and a parameter so a parameter is a tensor that um, Parameter is basically wrapper around the tensor and that is used as weights in a module so we need to con so for the module to identify weights its weights and biases and uh, learnable parameters they need to be wrapped around in parameters so they need to be converted into torch.parameters so only then my module will recognize these as uh, learnable objects or having objects having gradient equals true so um, so well let me call it weight and then I define my weight to be torch dot parameter and I will oh sorry it's not torch it's nn dot parameter and I pass in the weight so that's that's it um, Okay, so now this is the parameter for my layer. Um, so the weights are the parameter for my layer. Now I also, it's optional, but I can define to initialize my layers in a certain fashion. So you might have heard of uh, Xavier initialization and all the fancy initializations. So let's, let's see how to do that. So let me um, pull up the page here again and let's, to, let's search for torch initialization so this page will tell you all the different kinds of initializations that are supported in PyTorch so you have normal you have constant you have zeros um, identity Dirac and Xavier and so on let me do a simple normal initialization with a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. So I, I'll just copy this. And let's go back to our thing. Okay, so now we'll initialize it. So all I need to specify is I specify torch.nn.init.normal. 
underscore and then I specified my weight matrix so which is self dot weight and the mean and the standard deviation that's all so when I create an instance of my layer it will create the weights and then initialize the weights according to a normal distribution good now let's define the forward method which will take an input and all I want to do because I want to do an element wise dot product I'll do return x times self dot weight boom done um, that's pretty much it and that's my layer so this my layer will perform an element wise multiplication good so so I have um, uh, successfully executed that bit so just to show you that this is my layer is a module and it has all features of a module let me create an instance of it so let me call it a my layer and then let's say give it a size 10 and then when I type press a uh, I get my layer but then I can use let's say if I wanted to probe its weights so I'll do a dot weight and see it um, it gave me the parameter had had we not um, made self self dot weights a parameter then we wouldn't get this so just to show you that let's say if I instead of this if I had just this was just weight and then when I create an instance and I do um, a dot weight um, it's not a parameter anymore it is just a tensor so it the grads wouldn't be accumulated you see here there is no grade it requires grad is not equal to true so I go back here and then I move this move that and now it's a parameter and it has requires grad true I haven't tried by manually placing required grads to be true for tensor but um, you know there are 10,000 things to try so uh, feel free to try it on your own and again like I have all the uh, properties and uh, methods of the module that you, we saw previous in the previous video so I'm not gonna bother with that so okay so let's say we have so we have this we have made a layer so where can we use it we can use this layer in another module or we can use it in the sequential API so I'll, I'll, sh I'll create a very simple network and show you like how to uh, use these layers so I create I'll create a network and just for simplicity I'll make a sequential one out of it and I'll um, so I mean I will first create a layer with 10 with input as 10 and then I will also add in another layer which is relu so pretty simple network just two layers one is my layer and then one is relu so when I output it you see we have two layers so let's feed in something into it so uh, let me create a bunch of ones of dimension 1 comma 10 so one is the the first dimension is always the batch dimension and the second dimension is um, the size of my the feature length of my input I said 10 because um, my layer takes in uh, feature dimension 10 so that's why I said 10 and then now I will um, well let me call it a better name input and then I'll pass it into my network and see so we got some result and it worked out pretty well because uh, it passed it did element wise multiplication and it passed it through ReLU and that's why you see the zeros so if I change the batch size let's say two um, you get two copies of it because I'm giving the same input to both the batches so this is how you would use um, I made a very simple how you would use layers I made a very simple example of layers but then sky's the limit you can make you know complicated attention mechanisms and whatnot I hope you guys found this video useful again the code for this will be on my github page and um, you can find the link for it down below please like and subscribe the video if you liked it and uh, feel free to comment below
uh, tell me how, how I am doing and is there any specific topic that I should be covering. Alright, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.